So this is the main bedroom. Very impressed actually. I'd read some uh, dodgy reviews on TripAdvisor and to be fair, the rooms are lovely. Or this room is anyway. So you've got a writing desk there. Got a nice television. You've got complimentary water there. And your kettle and your, uh, your coffee. Coffee making facilities. In here, I'm pretty sure that you've got a fridge in there. It's not stocked, but um, there's, if I can get in it, there's um, a bottle of our water there. So like I say, it's not stocked, but you um, can always go down to the supermarket. It's not one of them pay bars where a can of Coke's about 10 quid, so that doesn't really bother me. So we walk around here. That's the... Uh, the balcony, I'll show you that in a minute. So if we carry on round here, this is like your your dressing area and your big mirror there. And you've got a couple of big wardrobes. Sink there. You've got your complimentary amenities there as well. Don't know what there is, shower cap is there. And a comb. Obviously that's self-explanatory. Your bath. Your toilet there, and a great big massive shower there as well. It smells really nice, it doesn't smell fusty or anything. So yeah, I'm impressed with this. And if we go outside, now it's about, must be about 10 o'clock at night now. Now, I'm not really showing it to its full potential now, if I put that on. Trying to get some lights out here. I'll show you this during the day, but this is an absolutely massive balcony as well. So if we just walk out there, like I say, in later on in the uh, in the review, I know you, you can't really see much at the moment, but uh, that's the sea down there. And if I just pan round, this is. This is Ajman City. It's probably about 10 o'clock at night now. And uh, But yeah, I will show you the balcony again. It's absolutely huge. You've got a sitting area here. And if I turn around here, you've got a couple of uh, chairs there as well. Like a coffee table. In fact, you've got two coffee tables. So yeah, well impressed with this. Um, I will show it you um, later on in the vlog uh, during the daytime but that is a very quick room tour of uh, room 728 I think it is at the Fermont Ajman in Dubai and I just wanted to show you some of the hotel in the evening because I think you, uh, you get maximum benefit in the evening of what it actually looks like so I think the lighting works really well nice marble uh, flooring which is highly polished so this is uh, the reception desk that's one of the reception desks there and that's the main entrance there and the concierge desk there just wanted to show you as well these flowers how nice are they pretty sure they have like a different selection of flowers every day now they are a work of art so yeah so they're the flowers and as I say that's the main entrance there and if I just try and not get dizzy here if I just look up here you'll see all the floors, so it's like an atrium. Try and not break my back. So yeah, it's like nice and bright and airy. So yeah, there you go. So let's swing round, and we'll walk into the other atrium, like the sitting area of the hotel. 
really quiet in the evenings, the hotel. Don't know where everybody goes to, because it's not this quiet during the day. So you've got a really nice sitting area. I'll just pan round for you. Nice and chilled out in here. And I think they pump some kind of scent into uh, into the rooms in the hotel, so it's quite a, a sweet smelling sweet smelling place. And that is some more artwork as well, if that's what you want to call it. I think that's meant to represent some kind of fishing net, I would have thought. But it's all very spectacular. And there you fish. And out of those doors down there is where you get out to the uh, to the pool and the beach area, which I'll uh, I'll show you in another part of the vlog. And this is the balcony during uh, daylight hours. So we'll walk out here and show you the uh, the money shot. So that's a. Uh, a view of the beach and the helipad over to the to the right. It's quite windy today, so I hope you can hear me again. Just pan around. So that's uh, another hotel at the other side of the uh, the half finished helipad on that side. I'll just pan around again. I will show it you at night as well. It's. Uh, this area around here is very uh, pretty at night, if that's what you want to say. There's some chaps working on, on the roof over there, of the hotel next to us. So yeah, it's um, all lit up at night, all this. And this is uh, like Ajman City. Um, quite funny actually down there, with those at that seating area. It was the Cricket World Cup final the other day, Australia against India, and there were some Indian supporters down there, so... Every time they got a wicket, we heard uh, a loud cheer. It was good to see, really. All the Indian flags was, were out as well. So, so yeah, this is uh, it's a massive balcony, this. It's huge, which is uh, one of the good things. They're not all as big as this. It's just the ones that are on the, uh, on the uh, extremities, the outside extremities of the, uh, of the hotel. So, yeah, so you've got a... Got a, a nice seat, seating area there. You can obviously pull the chairs out, and uh, if you want to have some food, etc., or play games, you've got this as well. And that's your uh, your patio there. So yeah, it is. Don't know whether I'm uh, showing you very well or not, but uh, if I just go into the far corner over here, it's um, it is a it's a massive balcony, and it's a sun trap as well during the day. So this is the pool area and to my left is the seating area outside the Turkish restaurant Kiyi, um, which is situated through those windows there and round to this side here to the right is the seating area outside the Spectrum restaurant which is the breakfast lunch and dinner buffet so let's have a, a quick look at the pool area now this is fairly fairly early in the morning for a hotel anyway it's about quarter to eight but I just wanted to show it you whilst there's nobody here now I don't think I'm, well, I'm not going to go in the pool now anyway but I don't think it's open at the moment I don't think I think it opens at 8 but I'm not 100% sure but uh, that gives you a flavour of what it looks like that's the uh, the bar you've got like a bit of a swim up area there as well you've got some of these like cabana bed things and your uh, your standard sun beds so I'll just pan around again you've got your lifeguard on duty there as well they are on it the lifeguards they're doing things that if you're doing things that they don't like they'll uh, they'll soon they'll soon tell you but again I don't think that's a bad thing they are looking out for you and they don't want people messing about too much in the pool either but uh, 
But yeah, so that's, uh, I'll just move a bit closer to the actual pool. It's got firm on Adjman in the uh, in the tiles. I don't know whether you can see that or not. You can probably just see the Adjman. So yeah, so we'll have a little we'll have a little wander down to the beach as well whilst we're whilst we're at it. Let's go this way. Sometimes the uh, the flooring around the pool can be slippery when it's wet but I've not noticed that here it's always been fine because if anybody's likely to slip it's going to be me especially with these flip flops on let's have a little walk down here the gardens are always uh, well kept you've got gardeners there's a chap here just stay uh, sweeping the leaves up You've got like a children's play area there. Um, don't want to make you too dizzy. I hope the wind's not too bad either. But that's the uh, the, ch the children's pool area. So yeah, let's have a little let's have a little wander down here. So as I say, you got your kids' play area there. And if we go down. Watch these steps. This is your beach area. I'll just pan around as well. It's actually a lovely time of day, this, because it's warm. But it's not too warm. And it, as you can see, it's quiet. It'll get much busier than this during the day. So... There you go, and you've got some outside, <coughs> excuse me, some outside showers as well to wash the sand off you. So yeah, that's the uh, that's the beach and the, the pool area. I'll see you later. And for those that are interested, this is the uh, all-inclusive drinks menu in the hotel. Obviously, this is all subject to change, but it's end of November 2023, and that's what you can get must admit we've tried most of the cocktails and they are very good the beers are good as well they're not um, branded or anything you have to pay extra for those but uh, they're still good and if I move over here you can see the food menu and this is the salt and sea bar and that just gives you an idea of the prices of things as well I'm sure what's on the other side there you go. That's if uh, if you want to pay for drinks. That's how much they are. And like I say, that's the end of towards the end of November 2023. And this is fairly self-explanatory. The beach area. It's around about 20 past five now in the evening. Just wanted to get a few minutes of uh, of the beach, the water. Been in the sea every day that we've been here. And uh, the beach is really good, no, no issues with the beach. The lifeguards are on it. Um, there's a little helipad, if I just pan round, there's a helipad just over there. And if you climb up them steps onto that helipad, it'll soon be uh, whistling at you to come off. So uh, yeah, in some ways it's good because uh, it shows you that the, uh, the lifeguards are on it uh, and they're looking out for you. and it's a yellow flag today but we have uh, this morning it was really windy and it was a red flag and they were coming down and stopping people from going in the water so let's just have a little walk along the beach that music that you can hear is uh, there's some kind of wedding event going on let's have a little look, little walk down here so yeah that is, that's the main building there obviously, and we're staying, or we stayed, if I can get my finger out, there we go, 
in one of those side rooms there on the side. So we did, we had a sea view. We weren't overlooking the pool, which is uh, just up there. Well, let's have a little walk a little bit further along the beach. Really nice time of day. Coming towards the end of November, we've been surprised really because the temperature has been in the late 20s, but it's never been really too hot. It's been really nice. I mean, been to Tenerife this summer, and I wouldn't say I wouldn't say it was as hot as Tenerife. I expected Dubai to be to be hotter really and the sun to be a bit more fierce at this time of year but not taking anything away from it it's been really good so I'll uh, just pan the camera around and I'll just show you some of the sunbeds I don't really want to be filming people whilst they're led down on the sunbeds but I'll just give you a little flavour of of what the, of what the uh, beach scene's like at the uh, Fairmont Ajman so I'm not going to go too much closer than this. But you've got your sunbeds there on the beach, and that's where the uh, the lifeguards sit. I'll just pan round. So yeah, so that's the beach at uh, at the hotel. Now I will show you the um, the pool as well, but I won't show you now because there's still people in it, and I don't want to get told off. But the beach is uh, just over. Past where that where that lady um, in red stood now, so I'll show you that at, uh, at another point in the vlog. So this is the fitness centre. I've just done half an hour. If I sound out of breath, I've just done half an hour on the uh, cross trainer. But this is where you sign in. Uh, you've got your hand sanitizers there as well, and there's a fridge behind the counter with. Uh, bottles of water in so as we come through there's usually the gym instructor person sat behind the counter and you've got the uh, the sports on the on the screens as well uh, female changing facilities and your male ones over that side you've got your water your towels your cucumber drink detox water and another good thing about this place as well, if, as well is, you've got sanitising towels as well that you can wipe the equipment down with. And if we move into the main gym area, to be fair, I mean I'm not a massive gym enthusiast or anything, but you've got you've got a wide range of equipment in here. And every time I've been in, there's only been a couple of people here which is good. So as uh, as now, I've got the whole place to myself. So if we just move around here. And it's all decent equipment as well. All the uh, the fixed bikes and things and the treadmills and the uh, cross trainers are all life fitness. They all look fairly new. This is the one that I've just been on. So I've just been watching, I've been listening to some music and watching some Italian football, which is always good. And around here you've got mirrors as well, if you're a poser and you like looking at yourself in the mirror. Sadly, I've, uh, I've long gone past that stage. And you've got some dumbbells as well in this corner. And if you come down during the day, outside of those windows there, you've got a good view of the pool area. So yeah. Just thought I'd show you the gym, and I think any gym in, there's me in the uh, in the mirror over there. I've got my detox water. I think any in, uh, gym enthusiast would be well happy with uh, with this place. So yeah, that's uh, that's the gym and the cardiovascular section at the uh, at the hotel. So I'll leave now and I'll go and have a shower and a gin and tonic. So we're in the Italian restaurant and I thought I'd uh, take a quick video of my starter. So this is the Carpaccio and my other half has got the bruschetta. Now she did ask for the bruschetta to come without any cheese and 
that's what's come out. I think they both look really good, both the starters. And I'll get back to you after we've eaten it and when the main course has come out. So yeah, this is the Italian restaurant at the Fermont Ajman. So the Carpaccio and the Bruschetta went down very well. And this is my main course. This is a spicy pizza. And that is the seafood linguine. So we'll let you know how they are after we've eaten them. So the pizza and the seafood linguine were excellent. There wasn't a trace left on either plate. And this is the dessert. This is the panna cotta. And as you can see, there's a spoon mark in it already there. Um, I wanted to eat some before I'd even vlogged it. But uh, I'll let you know how that goes. It looks really good, that. I didn't expect to get any strawberry. I think that's probably strawberry sorbet. Didn't expect to get that with it. So we'll let you know how that goes. And there we go. An empty plate. The panna cotta and the sorbet were really nice. And we finished that off between us. So yeah, really good that. Really nice experience. I'm just gonna pan around as well and show you the rest of the Italian restaurant as well. There's not many people in to be fair because it's not part of the all-inclusive at the hotel. I think you get 100 dirhams allowance. And I think that pizza that I ate, that I vlogged, that I showed, showed you a quick picture of, I think that was about 85 dirhams. So you've nearly spent your 100 dirham allowance on the main course. So we'll let you know how much this costs. But uh, yeah, the food and the service were really good. So just to let you know that the bill for the food came to the equivalent of around about £57. Um, when the bills came, we paid in cash and the, uh, the waiter was stood next to us so we couldn't go into how much it actually all cost, the breakdown of it. But it came to about £57. So my girlfriend got two glasses of Prosecco and that came to about... 18 and 19 pounds and the rest of it was the food so the way that they work the food out here is if you go into any of the any of the a la carts they give you a hundred dirham uh, allowance so they took off 200 dirhams for myself and my girlfriend um, and it came to yeah came to about 57 pounds and this is a flamingo that they've got uh, just outside the restaurant so I'm just going to pan round to uh, to my right, try and do that slowly. And that is the entrance there to the Italian restaurant. So I'll uh, have a little walk down here. And that's the name of it. Goya, I think it's called. Something of note as well about the, um, the hotel and the restaurants, everywhere is spotlessly clean. And outside the Italian, you've got this piece of modern art, this bull, which is nice. So yeah, that's, uh, that's Goya restaurant. So this is the Turkish restaurant, Kiyi, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Apologies if I'm not. I just wanted to show you this as well. So if we just pan round to the right, that's the uh, the bar area and the sitting area as well there. Uh, so yeah, it's a bar as well. You've got some of the uh, the sports on. You've got football, European football as well. I think Barcelona have been on. I think you've got Italian football on there. Udinese against Atalanta. So yeah, and this is the the Turkish sit down restaurant if you will I thought I'd uh, just get some footage whilst there's nobody in and across this side of uh, of the restaurant you've got like a a shisha bar so 
Yeah, you can sit down in here and watch sport and chill out and smoke shisha if that's uh, if that's what you want to do. It wouldn't be for me, but each to their own and all that. Just have a little walk around this way. And sometimes as well, you've got some live entertainment. On last night, there was a young lady singing like uh, European style songs. Just move around here. So yeah, really nice sitting area this. But uh, yeah, if you don't like shisha smoke, it's probably not gonna be for you. So yeah, that's the Kiyi Bar and Turkish restaurant. So I'm just gonna show you the uh, lunchtime menu. Try and do, do this as stealth as I can. But that's your, uh, your bread selection and your butter over there as well. So swiftly moving round, you've got your anti-pasties here and your meat, some chicken there, roast chicken by the looks of it, Arabic rice there, very nice, I've just tasted some of that, it's very nice, I've had one of those as well, they're good, that's what they are, and that. So like I say, this is the lunchtime menu. There we go. This is like your salad selections, if you will. I'll tell you what is nice, that stuff there, that shallow cheese. Looks a little bit like cabbage, but it's, uh, it's definitely cheese. It tastes lovely. Your beef in uh, some kind of sauce, it's got mushrooms in there as well. You've got your pasta in there, swiftly moving on. You've got your Thai roasted potatoes there, and your steamed rice. You've got cream of potato soup in there as well. I'll give you a quick, quick view of that. I've not tasted any of that. I had some of the mushroom soup last night, and that was excellent. So moving on to the, this is probably the Indian section. Show you that in there. The, uh, the Indian selection of food whilst we've been here has been spot on, it really has. Now I really like a chicken biryani and this is, uh, that is really good that. It's as good as the uh, chicken biryani, if not better than the ones that you get back at home in the UK. Chutney there, your poppadoms. Just move around here. The dining area is kept clean as well. Like the sitting area where you work, where you eat, there's always somebody going round with um, a dust pa dustpan and brush. I've had some of that. I can vouch for that. It's really good. That that sweet and sour chicken. And you've got your prawn crackers. Just panning round here. Again, this is the uh, the dining area, and these are an absolute taste sensation. These these lemon tarts. You might not look it, and there's only one left there, a straggler, but they are really good. If you ever come here and they've got these on the uh, on the counter, you must try one. You've got your dried fruit there, and cupcakes your puddings I'll try some of that but it's got sultanas in it and I don't like sultanas your red velvet cakes there at the back and for the uh, the health conscious out there you've got your uh, your fruit my insulin levels are going through the roof as I look at look at these bowls here. So yeah, that's uh, that's the lunchtime selection at the hotel. So we've come to the end of the holiday now, staying at the Fairmont Ajman. I just wanted to share with you some final thoughts about our stay. To cut a long story short, and if you don't want to listen to me babbling on a bit about the uh, about the review. I'd definitely recommend this hotel. 
if you're on a budget. Um, if you want a value for money to stay in, in Dubai, I would definitely recommend it, certainly on the all-inclusive package. I thought it was really good. I mean, we had a few drinks each day, a few cocktails. We're not, we're not massive drinkers, but I don't know, five or six cocktails a day and a couple of beers and what have you. And obviously all-inclusive, it's all in with the price. But if we were staying in a hotel in downtown Dubai or on Jumeirah, the cost of those cocktails and drinks and things, even a bottle of water, would be astronomical. So, you know, it was good for us in that respect to come on the all-inclusive package. So, and, it, and it does represent excellent value for money. Uh, the beach is lovely as well. Uh, we went on the beach every day. Uh, went in the water every day as well. Went in the pool a couple of times. But the beach is uh, one of the main selling points as well for, for the hotel. Uh, the sunbeds, they do get they do get busy each day. I think you'd have to be down early to get a prime spot, etc. But we weren't that bothered about that. We just followed the sun round. And what tends to happen as well is people get up and go around about dinner time, lunch time, about twelve o'clock ish. So a lot of sunbeds do become available. Um, what else can I say? There's a free shuttle bus as well to Dubai Mal. Uh, we made use of that one day. That was an eye opener looking at things that we can't afford in expensive shops etc but that's certainly worth a visit uh, get on the free shuttle bus you can see the Burj Khalifa as well and have a wander around the souk and what have you one word of warning about the shuttle bus please make sure that you're back at the shuttle bus for the time that it's leaving because we came back on one at 5 o'clock and as soon as that clock turned to 5pm on the, the clock on the bus the bus driver was off, he wasn't waiting for anybody, which is fair enough, the uh, the traffic on the way back was pretty horrendous, but again, that, that was an experience in itself, like looking at all the cars and all the traffic and the workmen going back to the digs and what have you, it was, uh, yeah, it was really something completely different to England anyway, all the, probably about eight lanes on each side of the motorway, uh, absolutely chock-a-block, so that, that was really good can recommend that there's taxis outside as well outside the hotel 24 hours a day if you want to go anywhere we made use of a taxi we went to uh, Ajman Mal I recommend that as well uh, we went in the the Carrefour supermarket had a good look around there thought that was uh, that was an eye-opener uh, seeing all the different uh, cultures you know different people walking around the shopping mall it, it was really good we had a coffee at Cafe Nero and just sat and watched the world go by so that's uh, I'd certainly put that on your list as well because there's some really some really nice shops in in there to have a look around uh, what else can I say the hotel itself is very clean uh, the staff uh, are excellent as well they'll do the best to help you and to serve you uh, the best that they can uh, they're always busy they're always doing things etc um, so yeah the staff are great hotel's very clean the flowers are a work of art at reception I think they change those on a daily basis they're worth having a look at because I'm not, I've not seen many hotels in fact I've not seen any hotels in the UK that have got flowers at the front entrance but then again that, that might say more about me and uh, the standard of hotels that I stay at in the UK but you can tell that some thought's gone into those uh, the evening entertainment, really there isn't any, it's fairly low key. Uh, you can sit outside uh, the Turkish restaurant and, and have a few beers or cocktails or whatever you want. I think that finishes at 11 o'clock, the all-inclusive. Um, trying to think what else I can say. The, the gym, I went in the gym every day, I needed to, given the amount of food that I've eaten. The gym was really good, excellent, had some really good equipment in it. Certainly when I went in, I more or less had the gym to myself all the time. So that's another good point about, about the gym. People leave you alone as well. Uh, you're not getting hassled all the time to do this, that and the other. Um, I'm just looking at my list of things to tell you. Bear with me. Yeah, I wouldn't really say that the hotels for, for children... Um, I mean, it, it certainly doesn't bother me, but if you're expecting, like, 
a lot of variety of children's food in the restaurants. It, it's not going to happen. Um, I know children like chicken nuggets and, and chips and things, and they, did, they simply didn't serve them. So if you come in thinking that you're going to get like a, a Western children's menu, it, that, that, that's, that's not going to happen. Certainly not on the all-inclusive buffet anyway. But the, the quality of the food was good. I think on one of the the, the vlogs, um, the, the the vlogs that I've done from this from this trip, didn't really do it justice. Uh, I think it was the evening meal one. The, the the food was better than that, but for whatever reason, on that particular night when I vlogged it, it wasn't great. But hey ho. Um, the hotel as well, I would say, is predominantly, I'd say, it caters for Russian guests. Um, I'd say the Brits probably say probably about 10% Brits uh, I, did, I have heard a few German voices as well but predominantly it's, it's, it's Russian cater for Russian travellers um, I don't really think I've got anything else to say other than if you're on a budget and you want a budget trip to Dubai I'd, I'd highly recommend it and I would come again if the price was right certainly um, I know people ask me about what kind of beer they've got uh, on the all-inclusive. It's Greenberg and Warsteiner, and I think you've got the choice of both on the all-inclusive. I think they do have diff other different beers as well, but you have to pay for them. So I know, I know people ask me about that. But yeah, certainly I would recommend this hotel on a budget. It's, um, it's an excellent way to see Dubai and to see Ajman as well, uh, which is... Uh, yeah, it's very interesting. Interesting place, different culture. So, anyway, I'll stop babbling. And what I will say is, I hope that you come and join me again on my next adventure, wherever that may be, either in the UK or around the world. So, yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon.